Chess friends, many players complain that super chess computers like Stockfish Alpha Zero and Archer Queen have a favorable advantage when playing with the white pieces. This advantage stems from the fact that white moves first, setting the tone and often launching the initial attack. Black on the other hand frequently finds itself in the position of responding to white's moves, following established opening strategies to avoid getting into a drawish position. A departure from the more unpredictable nature of human level chess, today I'm excited to share a remarkable chess game where I played as black and faced off against alpha zero, let's get started, alpha started the game with d4, we have knight f6 c5 e6, d5 and c5 are the main lines of Indian opening, knight f3 and I played c5 which is my opening move, I have to follow my opening book, d5 and here you can play b5, sacrificing the pawn to recapture in the center. This center combination and bishop e7 move are worthy in play, further moves are to play g6 or a6 but in our actual game we have d6. If you prioritize yourself, you are going to save yourself, so I played g6, bishop g7 a6 knight d7 are the common moves to consider, alpha moved back his knight to play e4 and knight c4, so after knight a6 I played knight to c7, transferring the knight in a good place but my bishop is very passive due to the opening so I have to exchange the bishop with white's knight or something, alpha played aggressively with knight c4, aiming at my key pawn where the bishop would come to add pressure. So in high level chess game, I moved back my knight on e8 to protect the pawn and threatening to play f4, try to improve the light square bishop in a good square, therefore alpha zero's strategy of forming a queen bishop battery to target the g7 bishop is a strong tactical move, h4 h5 can indeed open up the rook file and potentially expose your king, maintaining your light squared bishop to support the attack, is a key aspect of this plan. The best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them, so we have queen d2 as plan, b6 h4 to play h5, I developed my bishop on a6, h5 and we have bishop knight exchanges, a6, there is no serious problem in the king side because I can take back the pawn with f pawn and my rook will get an half file, so alpha zero did bishop exchanges first to reduce my defending pieces, queen e7 bishop e3, involving the bishop in this diagonal, he want to play castle and push forward his army. Let me show you the variation, if black gives white two extra moves, then white will exploit the center with e5, takes takes to target the h pawn, so f takes g6, d6 will arrive to kill your position, queen can't take the pawn because of mate in one, you will lose the knight and the knight so back to the position, I played knight h6 with the idea of kicking out the queen and play knight e5 if needed, here I sacrificed my pawn on c4, any human would think of playing bishop takes pawn, but there is presented. An excellent tactic to open up the rook files, I will get some extra moves to get back into the game by reducing white's attack and sacrificing two pawns, but Alpha Zero is the stockfish subscriber, he didn't capture the pawn like a fool, b5 castle, and here if you play an ordinary move for example b4 to target the knight, then white will strike in the center with e5, queen takes e5 h takes g6, threatening to take it so after takes, black will sacrifice the bishop on g6. Pawn can't capture the bishop, because of queen takes checkmate, so queen e7 to protect the rank, knight e4 to add pressure to the defender, you may capture the knight, blundering the game with bishop takes h7, king f7 then it will be checkmate in g6. The greatest glory in living lies not in never falling, but in rising every time we fall, so back to the position, we have rook e8, g4 to play g5, knight has to run then white will push the e pawn in order to get the e4 square for the knight, knight f6 check will bombard you, there will be a constant threat of capturing the pawn as black will get diagonal for the bishop after moving the pawn, so in this circumstances I decided to play queen f8, queen g5 to target the knight, so rook e5. I sacrificed the knight, queen takes knight, now I played g5, trapping the queen in this jail, knight e8 will kill your queen, so f4 knight e8, pawn takes rook knight takes rook, takes, this position is not so good for me because I have the queen for three pieces, white have a great center with great pieces mobility. In order to be truly happy, you must pursue your dreams and goals, so we have before, knight e2 queen e8 rook to h3, king here rook e3 queen to e5, white's structure and his position is totally secured, alpha zero have a great outpost in f5 for his rook and knight, and on the other hand, 
Black Rook can't enter to White's territory which is the greatest disadvantage for me. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.